Death brings life. It's the way of the wasteland. While expecting to find a few friendly faces in a small settlement to the east, instead our companions found destruction. Clear signs of fighting, destroyed and burnt buildings, and not a body in sight. Maybe buried by their friends, or maybe they all escaped before the event ever happened, leaving behind everything. But still, not a soul stirs. However, not all is lost. In their abandonment, valuables were left strewn across the ground. Necessary, important valuables to make a life in the wasteland easier to live. Loading their backpacks and heading back to Squin with plans of multiple trips out this way, Rustilt can't help but wonder, what kind of life will these supplies give him? And more importantly, what's next? It's always a relief to come over the hill and see something you would at least consider safe. And that's what Hobbs, Rust Hilt, and Ruka see, is safety in Squin. We've returned from our trek to the settlement to the east, and it was a beneficial one. One that I did not expect to get so many good things, and there's still plenty to go back and get. And that's what today, or the next few days, uh, in-game at the very least, are going to be all about. It's time to start setting up caravans. Well, not caravans in the way that you would think of them with like lots and lots of people, but uh, caravans for our own little our own little friends here. We're gonna be going back and forth between that settlement and a few other places. Now, uh, you can see th there are three things here that I I'm looking to explore in this episode. The first being the ruined Holy Nation outpost that we kind of discovered along the way. Uh, the way station as well. This was marked, but I don't think I knew it was ruined until I came to it. This way station, because uh, apparently it's good to go to way stations, and obviously we're going to finish looting the tiny settlement, which is always necessary. Um, however, we need some money, and the big thing we're going to want to do is be grabbing, I think, wooden backpacks. Uh, the reason for that is so we can stack as many, many, many... Oop, as many, many things as I can, so we can bring all of them back here. Look at this, man. We got some fuel. I don't know how useful that is, but we've got some. And then Hobbs has nothing because we've already emptied it. And then all of this. Because we want things to be able to just stack nicely. That's kind of the hope, right? Uh, so we're going to need to make sure that that's going to be what we do. We want to we wanna get another wooden backpack. Uh, we also want to set up a couple of things here in, in the building itself for uh, just potential usage. The most important one is just food storage. So the food storage, which is going to give us one bit building materials, characters can come here and get uh, food when they need it. They will actually grab food on their own from here as long as they're within reach. So let's throw this in the corner. And uh, it's actually very, very simple to build. So we're gonna actually have him grab one of these. And we're just gonna go ahead and have him rust tilt build this. And we're gonna stash all of, at the very least, uh, Nines is food in here. Nines the liar. Nines the, the one who likes to pretend he's actually worth a damn when he's not. Um, let's go ahead and have Hobbs with, uh, in the meanwhile, or should I say Ruka in the meanwhile, come over here. And grab, wow, there's only 10. That's not a lot. Nines, you need you need some, you need to do a little bit better work. Uh, but let's go ahead and make this uh, a quick, make a quick sale here with Ruka. And what we're gonna be doing is just continually prepping and exploring. This is, I'm very, very excited because we get to actually do some exploration of some ruined sites and see what we can find. Uh, and then we can make decisions from there as to what to do next. So let's go ahead and store all of this and I'd like to get one of these bags, at least one more. Um, he only has one, and that's okay. And I don't know if I want to do anything else. So this backpack is going to go to... Uh, right now it's going to go to Hobbs, because Hobbs is the most... You know, he usually... He doesn't have a backpack, A, and he's actually, you know... He's carried one of these a while, so I'm sure it's very comfortable for him to be wearing one of these. Um, we actually might want to grab a bunch of those. So let's have a nines come back here. I'd like him to stop this and just come back here. And while we're at the very least back home, let's send Hobbs back out to do the usual. Uh, let's send Hobbs back out to do what he's so very good at. And for now, nines can kind of just swing back 
and I'd like him to just drop what he's got here. Bag check, Hobbs. Hobbs, you need to do a bag check. Come here. Yep, yeah, show him my gear. We're good. Hobbs will go back. I wish there was a way they would automatically do that bag check if they could. Here, let's speed things up. Let's get nines in here. Boom. Now we'll get rid of that. And now I want him to open this. And we're just going to go ahead and put everything in there. So he'll be able to snag that as best he can when he can. Ruka and Rust Hilt are going to swing out to a nearby shop. And again, their big their big worry right now, or the only concern they really have right now, outside of obviously is making some cats, is just getting everything home. There's no point in starting any building until we know what our supplies are, and we can strategically ple uh, plan what we want to what we want to build and when we want to build it. Um, at least that's how Rust Tilt is thinking. He do the the one thing he doesn't want to do is act rashly in the wasteland. He's seen what happens when you act rashly, and it always ends up in death. So instead of doing that. Let's not, and, um, continue doing what we're doing this way. Play it slow, play it safe. So, for now, uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna have them rest, because they, when, you, when you're resting, you actually go through a lot less of your hunger meter. And I'm gonna have them rest, for now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait till we have enough money and enough backpacks to move on. I need to wait for the shop to restock these wooden backpacks. So I'm gonna have Hobbs mining and doing what he always does, which is making good money, hopefully. And, uh, you know, we'll fade away and fade back when everything's ready. A well-earned sleep and a deep rest for our friends. Even Nine's the liar. He's been spending the days mining away, trying to prove he's worth the amount of money we paid for, even though all signs point to worthless. Rust Hilt and Ruka can nap while Hobbs, feeling pretty good, decides to take over the job for nines. Not because he wants to, he would love to lie down with the rest of them, but because if they're going to make it in the wasteland, they're going to need money. And nines has not provided nearly enough ore to make them feel comfortable. Hobbs will continue. Rust Hilt and Ruka will rest, and their journeys will start again the next day. Not even past the first day, and we might have our first sign of trouble. Some starving bandits are here. They can see me, but they are ignoring me. Hobbs is going to just kind of act natural, hopefully not attract any attention. And look at that. Perfect. Just in time to head back in. All right. Good, good, good. And they are all getting uh, a little stuck here on the geometry. But it seems like they're going to make their way into Squin. No problem. Well, that's that's a relief. Genuinely. That's a big, big, big relief. We'll see if they cause any problems. But Hobbs also has no food on him. So I imagine that that helps quite a bit. What are they going to do? So far, nothing. They're not going to head into town. And they're going to head... Ooh... More starving bandits. And they're going to head further to the uh, to the southwest. Where the, the actual dust bandits are. So that's a little dangerous. These dust bandits, however, could also prove to be dangerous. One looks like he's carrying a whole lot of nothing. And it's, a, it's, a, it's the leader. I like how the leader is the least equipped to deal with any combat. He's got the biggest sword. So maybe that's what makes him a leader in, in these bandits' eyes. But not terribly impressive. Not by a long shot. The sun rises in Squin, but you'd be hard pressed to tell with the gigantic dust storm happening out there, but the sun rises nonetheless. And that means we can start selling things. Nines will be our seller this morning, as uh, we'll see what he's done. Oh look, 20, double the amount in half the time or less. How fantastic. Uh, God, put this all in. And we're going to go sell this off, and with luck, we'll be getting ourselves another wooden backpack, which is exactly what we want. So, Nines is going to be moving his way out. Look at how slow the poor boy is. He is just the slowest man in existence. I'll die a proud death and live a lifetime in Shane. All right, well, I'd rather live a lifetime in Shane. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying. All right, sell, sell. Well, it looks like we did not get lucky enough to get a respawn of a wooden backpack. Which is unfortunate. Um, we could get just a large one, but that would be most of our money. What we could do is give have Nines give his wooden backpack to Ruka, 
and have him mine with just the small backpack for now. Uh, and that way we'll have at least two wooden backpacks heading out that way. It's not, again, ideal in any way, but it's better than nothing. So we'll just kind of do that for now. All right. And uh, we're going to get, once Hobbs is done with his particular, this particular order here, um, we'll, we'll sell this off and we'll make our way back out with our crew. And the first thing they're going to do is tap the holy, uh, the ruined holy outpost. Maybe, oh, you know what we should do technically? We should go back to the tiny settlement and work our way backwards. We'll empty this place of all it's worth. Maybe go to the way station on the way back because I think that's inhabited. Uh, see what's there for us. And then come back, and once we're certain that we are done with the tiny settlement, we'll work our way in the uh, ruined Holy Nation outpost. We might as well hit the furthest thing first so we don't have to make that gigantic trek um, more often or ever again. Just kind of knock out the hardest thing first. That's the way I like to look at it. And then we'll obviously we'll get nines back to it. We'll get some no more provisions as well so that everybody has something to eat along the trek. Though we may have enough with uh, what we've got on on our boy Rust Hill, but I still think it might not be a, it won't be a bad idea for us to, to sell it. So let's put him here. We're going to say no more of any of that. And let's just have you grab the five that you just snagged. And then we'll get nines right back to work. So we're going to go ahead and say nines, get to it. And then when you're done with that nines, go ahead and please put those back. I would appreciate it. Everybody awake. Uh, let's let's go ahead and make quadruple sure that they he has not restocked What we were looking for here Yeah, nothing. I mean, I don't know how this works. I Know this is a Garu backpack and we can't really wear it one two three, four. We might be able to wear it, but I don't know what it would do to us It'd probably be terrible for us to wear and it's so expensive a thousand dollars is insane. I'm not entirely sure that's what I want to be rolling with. We could use some new armor too, not gonna lie. Let's go for provisions, food provisions first. Uh, we'll swing into the bar as we always do. They love us here. You, kn you know they do. All of them love us. Show me what you've got. Yeah, we'll buy a few more fish. I think that'll be more than enough. And I'm curious, somebody said in the comments, and I do listen to the comments when I can, keep that in mind. Um, that you can actually look at somebody's stats before you hire them, which would have been supremely useful for me to be doing just as a player. Oh, with a flat skin, don't make me laugh. Oh, I could just do something like this and look at his stats over here, his attack, his defense. Let's have Ruka talk to him. How much does he run us? 6,000, just as expensive. Yeah, we don't have that kind of money right now, but that's okay. All right, it's time to make that trek again. The tiny settlement it is. God, I hope this doesn't kill us. I hope also if, say, like, Nines gets attacked, it'll flash, like, his name and I won't miss it. But if Nines ends up taking it, we don't really know Nines all that much. The three of them don't really interact with Nines all that often. Uh, they were excited to partner with him, and then when they realized the dude didn't know how to hold a sword, even worse than Rust Hilt, uh, they put him to, to, to work, at least to the best of their abilities. So, let's speed things up to times two. And let's start making our way back towards the tiny settlement to see if we can get ourselves anything useful or get the rest of what we deem useful there. And then if we have time uh, or we have space on the way back, we can hit up the abandoned Holy Nation outpost and see if there is anything useful there. And of course, the uh, wayward outpost might have something useful for us to purchase as well. The way station rather. But this little trek to the to the west or rather to the east has been really exciting and kind of starting to broaden our borders a little bit. We're nowhere near ready to move to anywhere cons that you would consider dangerous in any way, um, even though the whole fucking world is dangerous, but I mean more dangerous than, wh than what we, uh, when we have. Moving into the swamps sounds like a fucking horrifying idea, and I have no interest in doing it. I feel like heading north would be the coolest thing. Also, what? why is this all super colorful? I want to check that out too. But there's some interesting things to the north, and obviously there's some things to the south that we have mapped as well. Um, I don't know which way is safer, if any of them are considered safer at all. And uh, I kind of like it that way, because I'm enjoying experiencing the game. God damn it, Hobbs. Everybody down here. I enjoy experiencing that way. Let's wait for Hobbs. And uh, it, it feels like it adds to Rustilt's tail quite nicely. Alright, back on the road, gents. Wow, the sun is scorching. We have a problem. So, uh, we're on our way back to the tiny settlement. We're close, close enough. 
Uh, the way station is right there, and we turned a corner, and then we're immediately screamed at by some starving bandits. Now we have a choice, as we always do. Do we fight them and get our asses handed to us, but maybe get left alone? Or do we retreat to the way station up ahead? I'm thinking we attempt another fight. Every fight we get a little closer, and Starving Bandits are going to be the best option we have to fight for some time. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw all of our backpacks in our inventory. And I'm going to have them turn and fight and see how this goes. So let's go ahead and slow things down. And let's see how this ends up working out for us. There's not as many as there usually are when we get outnumbered, but there's still quite a few. We're going to run them into battle, though. And we're going to, once again, see if we can manage. They never ever mortally wound us to the point of death. Usually it's always just to see if we have food, knock us unconscious and do some damage. And while that's unpleasant, it's nothing compared to what the rest of the wasteland will do. So we might as well see if we can manage a little bit of defense. If we can take out the leader, we might be good. And it's going to do some great, uh, it's going to be good for us for our experience. We do have a way station not too far. Whew. Ruka falls, the first to fall, surprisingly, and unfortunately. Uh, we've taken down one of them, however. Ruka is wounded, but she's getting up. She doesn't want to stop. Rust Tilt, however, has taken many stomach and head blows. But we're holding our own way, way, way better than we have in the past. Surprisingly, Hobbs being the last one alive. Doing a lot of blocking, getting some attacks in. And then, boom, they take out Ruka, who's bleeding. Or rather, who's unconscious, hopefully playing dead. And Rust Tilt is in a recovery coma. Are they not going to do anything? Oh no. Why aren't they going to do anything? Get out. Let's, let's see if we can get them away. Come on, Ruka. Pull back. Pull back. Let's see if we can pull them away from the party first. Ruka being the tactical one, realizing they're not going to move, perhaps even contemplating uh, eating eating our companions, Ruka decides to pull them away, which allows Rahabs, who had been playing dead, to get up and hopefully heal himself. Um, we're going to trade real quick with... Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and pick up him. Ruka is going to back up. There's no way she fights these guys fine. So I think making a, just a decision here... Ruka's going to head to the outpost and hopefully lead them all away. She screams back, gathers her attention, shouts, if you want something, come fight me, and immediately begins to run towards the outpost, giving Hobbs, like I said, an opportunity to swing back. And let's go ahead and trade real quick with, with uh, our friend here. Throw the backpack back on him. Trade. Grab ourselves a standard first aid kit and start immediately first aiding Rust Hill, preventing him from bleeding out and giving him an opportunity to not die. Speeding things along, his stomach is gonna hold out. There's his chest. Sit back and embrace the pain. I think that's what he's, he's talking to the crippled bandit over here who clearly has stirred, but isn't gonna move. He's actually the bandit leader. No bounty though, Ruka's down. I did not realize Ruka did not make it. She barely made it anywhere. She did not go far. She's unconscious for a little bit, but I think they left her alone. Okay. We have time. No, 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 no. Hobbs, run. Hobbs has nothing in his backpack that they're going to want. So run, Hobbs. We're going to try and micromanage here. I know I'm pausing a lot, and I know that bothers people, but we're running. Up the way station. 
get to the way station. Run, 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 run. We're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna live. Rust Tilt is basically gonna be all right. It was a bit of a tough start, but it worked out. Now the question is, can I pick up Ruka and still make it to the way station? Get out of there with Ruka in the way station. No, not gonna happen. Put down. And then, way station. Keep moving. They took a couple of whiff shots. Keep running. Keep running. It's a little bit of a bummer that Ruka ended up failing. I do wonder what happened. Move up. Who's that? Tech guard, ninja, ninja guard. Perfect, that's exactly what we need. First aid hobs. Getting his head under control. Move. No, 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 no. Move, move, move. Up and in. Hobbs is gonna keep moving. The others being left on the ground, the big concern there is slavers wandering by. If slavers wander by, we're in a lot of trouble. Where are you going, dude? Up and in here, there's a bar in there. Okay, ooh, they have like turrets. Oh my God, they actually have like turrets? Oh my God. Yeah, go to the guard. Beautiful. Tech hunters. Yo, you guys look really cool. All right. That's fantastic. That worked out so freaking well. I don't think they're gonna have anything we want, so let's let them just keep getting up and down. We will double check, but again, I highly, highly doubt it. And them all being down gives us an opportunity here to run down. All right. Was it a mistake? I don't think so. I think that's gonna be good for our friends. Again, if they ever wanna leave the Borderlands, they're gonna need to be good at combat. And the only way to get good at combat outside of training dummies is to fight normally. And every time they come across starving bandits, they keep trying, man. They do keep trying. Not because they want to, but because they kinda have to. But that's all right. Ruka actually made a great call in retreating like that. It pulled away the entire mob and gave Hobbs at least a moment to stabilize Rust Hilt, whether he should have been stabilized or not. We have a starving bandit still over there. Just one. We might be able to fight him. So let's get Ruka over here. And let's first aid, or Hobbs over here, and let's first aid Ruka. Wake up, Ruka. Pretty please. As long as this doesn't reach one, minus 100, she'll be okay. All right, she's in a recovery coma. Hobbs. My concern now is, are we going to be able to take this guy, both of these guys? There's a crippled, wounded. All right, Hobbs, let's go grab their attention. Hello? Starving bandits? Are you hungry for human flesh? Yep, yep, you are. Absolutely. Up you go. Dragging them away. Dragging them so far. Don't want to attack or get my arm cut off. We'll get into it. We'll get involved in a fight here. I'm, I'm fine with fighting. Okay, we got to move up here. And then hopefully they get shot. What just a bastion of safety. Yeah, go ahead and fight him. Ow! What just happened? Did they miss and hit me? Holy crap! Please tell me your guys are healing me. No, you're healing your buds. What the heck, man? Uh, we are stuck in a recovery coma for a little while here. Hobbs got absolutely blasted by this turret. Hobbs will be up, though. Or maybe he'll be in a recovery coma. Who fucking knows? Let's speed up. Wow, he bled out. Jesus Christ, man. I cannot believe that that just happened. That was insane. He just went right down. I thought, you know, they wouldn't miss. But no, they missed. Badly. Uh, he's gonna have to heal himself when he gets up. His leg is not... He's still unconscious. He's in critical condition. 
This has to get to minus to hit zero first before Rust Tilt will get up. We are in a lot of trouble here. All because of one big bad choice. It's trying to get into combat to up our skills. Instead, Hobbs' leg was, his entire right leg had been basically taken out completely by a gigantic bolt fired by this turret powered by, I don't know, rockets, gasoline, fuel, some sort. Rust Tilt needs to wake up. And he needs to wake up like yesterday. Because the first thing he has to do is heal his friend. A little bit more. This, this hitting minus 100 means the leg is gone. Three. Two. One. Is he up? He's up. I need you to go and first aid him right now. Rust still needs to get up and go. No, no, no. First aid him. Thank you. Nothing else. Just that. Ruka is still in a recovery coma. I'm I'm pretty sure she's going to be okay where she is. But Rust still needs to run for his life. His friend Hobbs is about to lose a limb. Bleeding out could cause him to die. Let's see what happens. Oh, I think we saved his leg. We saved it. My god. Okay. He's gonna be alright. Let's go pick up Ruka. And Rustil being the only one left awake is kind of an interesting po poetry there. It looks like we will not be going to the small settlement. As of right now. This way station will be our only opportunity to relax and heal and bring life back to our bones. That's what we need to focus on. That's what we need to do. With 3,000 cats to our name, this, this way station does have a bar. So a couple of beds and a few days rest might be exactly what we need to do. So let's see what we've got. There's actually a bed here. In we go. Yes, welcome. Welcome customer indeed. Uh, we'll be back. We need to go up a floor. And I need just to snag a bed if there's any available. Ideally a good one. Yeah, let's go here. I'm going to put you in the bed. 200 cats for a bed rental. You know, we don't really have much of a choice. We're going to splint his injuries because we I didn't realize uh, it would need to be splinted. So let's go ahead and splint his injuries. And then we're going to lie him down. Let's go ahead and splint him. I don't know what it's going to do. I don't know if it did anything. Splint injuries. Okay. Pick up. Let's get him out of here. I imagine we've at least splinted the injuries. I don't know. It don't look like it came out of the ground to me. I don't know what you're talking about, but that's alright. Oh, Ruka's up. Really? Ruka, I kind of want you to stay in bed. I need you to heal. In Rust Tilt, I want you laying down as well. Quite a few. Quite a few cats to be thrown, but... Really, we didn't have much of a choice. Well, let's hope uh, Nines is doing well. Let's pop back over to Squin and see what's going on over here. There's our boy. Slowly but surely working, working the mines. How many? How much has he... I wonder how much he's grabbed so far. His strength has gone up a point, and his laboring has actually gone up by about six points. And the faster... The higher this goes, the faster he does his job, so that's good. All right. He's fine. Let's take a look at their stats. Let's see what happened here. Toughness is a nice 16 now. Melee attack is a 16. His katanas have gone up. Nothing huge. Ruka, melee defense and melee attack are really nice and high. Now, it's also keep, important to keep in mind that he's, she's still below your average bandit. Most bandits are around the 20s-ish, somewhere to mid-early 20s. We're not even a bandit level of attack yet. And uh, his actually went up quite nicely as well, which makes sense because he lasted the longest, which is great. So let's go ahead and speed up time and let our heroes rest. For the first time, our companions were met door to door with death. Hobbs was knocking quite loudly. But as luck would have it, or perhaps fate, death wouldn't be taking any of them today. Rust Hilt had been healed by Hobbs moments before Hobbs had been taken down and allowed Rust Hilt to get up and heal the rest of them. 
If that twist of fate hadn't happened, and Ruka's tactical retreat hadn't been called in order to separate the, two, the groups from the bodies lying on the ground, we may be down one member, maybe even more. But our friends here live to fight another day. While Hobbs finishes healing, Rustilt actually is going to kick out of bed. There's some people to talk to. Let's have some chats. Who are you? Ever need something smooth and ever need help smoothing things over with the Holy Nation? You know where to find me. Oh, what a holy pacifier diplomatic status. Oh, we can come over here and maybe pay down like hatred or something. A plastic surgeon. Excuse me. He's a greasy looking alcoholic. Uh, he's a greasy alcoholic looking fellow spinning a scalpel in each hand as he talks to you. What'll be me? What'll it be, my man? Haircut, facelift, 200 cats. Facelift. Oh, so I can just change how I look. Okay, I was thinking like prosthetics being plopped on, but not not, not quite. All right, let's go down here and see if there's anybody worth talking to here. Flashbox. Yo, that's a fantastic name. Marissa, Peace, Soto, and Bombingham. There's a lot of people with just names. Bombingham, what you got, dude? You actually have a wooden backpack here. Um, you sell it for quite... A bit higher price because we're probably a bit further out than normal but it might be worth grabbing actually so let's go ahead and grab it I don't like spending that much money but a, ba a wooden backpack is we've been looking for a third uh, Marissa my family taught me everything lessons those bastards could never take away but they left me alive and that was their mistake you if you fight bandits yeah kill them dead they tried to ruin me with fear but I'll show them what fear really is Interesting. She sounds very, very, very scary. Uh, you sound like you're battle ready. I don't know. I don't know what I want to talk about here. I mean, we want someone who's battle ready here, but Rustild is such a family oriented man. I think he would say something like this. They told me never to back down. My dad fought them to his last. My mother never looked away when they put her, bullet, her to the blade. I won't run. Not anymore. I'll break every one of them. It's the right thing to do. Ah, bandits killed her parents. Okay. Understood. <sighs> Revenge is ugly. Yeah, he can't say that. She has the the same kind of history as Rust Hilt, and Rust Hilt feels the cockles in the cockles of his chest, the burning hatred he has for the Holy Nation. Except for her, it's bandits. You sound like you're battle ready. Join my team. We could use a strong set of arms. I know what you're going through, Marissa. My life is similar, for different reasons, but we both got set down the same the same path. Join me and work with me towards settling vengeance and safety. Yeah, I'm ready. Ready and eager. It's only I need some cash to pay for my bed at the flop house. 3,000 will clear the bill, then I can ship out. Well, that's a shame. I don't have that money. Maybe we will in time. We'll come back. Peace. I'm looking to band up and get out of town. You interested? Maybe, but who are you first? Just a nobody looking like for like-minded people to join together with. Pretty lame story. Well, I ain't here to entertain you with stories, pal. Fine, how much are you charging? 3,000 cats. Okay. Yeah, everybody's here going to be paid. I feel like there's not a lot of people who join for free. Uh, Just mercenaries that we can buy. That's another thing in the game you can do. There are just mercs you can pay, and they'll just hang around for like a few days. These must be his, his merc band. Tech hunters, yeah. I think this is the merc band. Who's this? Rin of the Drifters. Looking for allies, Romer. Sure, I'm interested. 3,000 cats. Well... It's good to know. It's good to know. It doesn't help, but it's good to know. Hobbs is still healing. Uh, while that's going on, let's see what's in here. There's no bar, actually. Just a hotel and a shop. Of, I assume, tech hunters? Let's swing in. No, Hobbs! No, 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 no. I didn't mean that. I need you to sleep. Rust tilt. Uh, is that going to cost me 200 cats? Was that like a 200 cat mistake? No, I think we're good. All right, good. Rust tilt. What you got in here? Looking to buy, maybe. What you got? Just supplies, I guess, huh? Research bench level two. Basic furniture. I need a research bench level two. I don't know if I need to research that before I can get it, though. All right, just a typical tech supply shop. I wonder if we can sneak around 
and just see what they have stashed up here. Not necessarily to buy, but just to have. Hello. How are you? What you got up here? Nothing? All right. My mistake. Well, this guy's arm fell off, as you can see. Or maybe it's just permanently crippled. It's just, it's just gone. And he's only got three blood and he's barely alive. I can first aid him and I might. We'll see what happens. Get him back up. Maybe he'll thank me. I don't mind it. It's not doing anything? Except using my first aid kit? Oh, there we go. It's because it's got to get past the minus 100, I think. Oh my god, the arm. Oh my god, he runs like Naruto. Oh, he's getting his friend up. Or he was looting his friend. One or the other, but he's leaving. Rust Hilt watches. Does he attack? These guys almost killed him. Anger. Rage bubbles to the surface. His friends are asleep. He can't defend himself. Is that who Rust Hilt has become? Or is that only who he is when they almost die? Let's find out. Get him, Rust Hilt. Ow! This is for trying to kill me and my friends. Unless I can't fight you for some reason. Okay, you don't need to come help me, honestly. I was gonna be fine by myself. But that's okay. Yash! I'm sorry, what are you doing with, with him? What was the plan there? And, oh! Uh-oh. Well, is that, is that him? Let's go ahead and just snag some stuff to sell off. Stuff that they're not going to need. Unconscious, yeah, that's the same one. I just went, they just went over here. Unconscious for 800 seconds. Fair enough. All right, let's have Rust to loot the rest of the bodies. We'll make some money. At least try to. A severed human right leg. Why can't I pick that up? Why can't I pick this up? I want it. There we go. I don't know what to do with it, but we actually have a severed human right leg, so that's... You know, that's exciting. I don't know why he would pick that up. Other than the fact that I told him to, but... Other than that... You want this? It's worth nothing. Sure. Let's put that on you. Put that on you. Alright. I think that everybody's good and healed enough to continue the trek. I'm a little concerned, but I think we can do it. I think we can make it all the way to the tiny settlement <laughs> back again. What an adventure just going back to the tiny settlement ended up being. Not nearly what I was expecting, and I wasn't really expecting to uh, check out what this way station was now. But we kind of got attacked in a very advantageous position for us. One that allowed us to engage in the fight and know there was safety behind us, which was part of that decision making. We knew that there was a possibility to run for help if we needed it. And that kind of training wheels or, or safety net, whatever you want to think of it as, is 100% uh, valuable to me more starving bandits all right well i hope we can get away from them i think we'll be fine oh this is the tiny settlement huh let's get in here go over here No, 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 run. We're, we have a problem. <laughs> get out, get out, get out. We looped around. Let's, uh, let's move down towards the way station here. I cannot believe we're being attacked again. We can't fight them. We just can't. We have a tech hunter wandering the streets here, and I'm hoping that they'll help. 
The Tech Hunter itself is... Wow, their attack is 56. So we'll see what happens. They're not part of the Shinobi Thieves, which is who we're part of. Um, but hopefully they'll just, they'll defend anyway. Seeing the aggressive nature of the bandits. No, no such luck. No, 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 they are, they are. Perfect, perfect. Let's loop around. Move up. Keep moving. We're a lot faster than they are. They don't seem to want to fight. We are faster than them by quite some, by quite a bit. And then we're going to turn hard left and head into these planes here. Well, I appreciate this tech hunter for helping when they could. Uh, and unfortunately, it was not enough. It's just Hobbs. Hobbs is not in any any way, shape, or form ready to fight at all. His leg is, is already wounded far enough, and he got smacked in the stomach, which is kind of a pain. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Garu are moving in. <sighs> way station. We gotta go to the way station. We have to. Are they running with us or from the Garu with us? I want you to head to the way station. Yeah, the Garu are actually nasty little critters there. 19 attack is still higher than us. And they seem to be pretty freaking quick. Using the wildlife for our own defenses is maybe the best option we have. Yeah, 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 they're all turning to fight. Now I think we turn and fight. Now I think we try and actually get into combat with what's left of those who are chasing. But keep a very close eye on what comes over that hill. His arm is, is absolutely annihilated. They're not doing so hot. Let's have Ruka turn around and fight them. Get some fighting in while we can. The stragglers are going to be fighting who, who they can. Rust Hill, take on him. Please, Hobbs. I can't have you go down here. Ruka's moving in. Helping out Hobbs. Yep, they're going to they're gonna clean this up. Beautiful job. What a beautiful, beautiful job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do not let him go. He can run all he wants, but he's not going to... He's not allowed. He lost both of his arms. Just mercilessly beating on this guy for trying to... Trying to kill us again. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. Now the question is, what's happening up here? If we stay up here, will they come after us? I don't think they will. They're not. They're not at all. And not one of them was killed, though. Very close. Uh, one of the, the younger ones was. Fantastic. Back to the tiny settlement. There's only one thing guaranteed in the wasteland. Danger. No matter how many times you trek the same path over and over, you never know what will wait for you on the other side this time. A friendly face, traveling merchants, nomads, slavers, bandits, or just thugs looking to murder you because they're bored. All are possibilities here. And that was reinforced more than ever for Rust Hilt, Hobbs, and Ruka on their way back to the tiny settlement to loot everything it was worth. Will they make it back to Squin safe, though? That's yet to be seen. <laughs>